Today we're talking about random and thickness. And we've looked at random previously. It's a class for uh, generating random numbers. And thickness is totally new. It's basically a way of defining things like margins and borders and padding. And I discussed how to do that with uh, attributes and XAML in uh, C Sharp Edge uh, 287 or WPF 13. Uh, so you might want to go back to that video to, to learn more about what the meaning of those are. That basically thickness has three constructors and these create a bounding rectangle that you can assign to margin, border, or padding. And the first parameter has, uh, the first constructor has no parameters. The second constructor has one parameter which defines all four sides of the bounding rectangle. And the third constructor ha has four parameters that correspond to each of the four sides. So you can define the size and pixel of left, top, right, and bottom separately. And this exactly corresponds to uh, the attributes in uh, XAML as I discussed in the previous video. And you can either define uh, thickness with the uh, constructors or you can define it using the four thickness properties which are thickness dot left, dot top, dot right, and dot bottom. And I'll show you an example of all these in the, the program I'm about to demo. And a lot of you out there might be saying, didn't you just say that classes in uh, WPF are all parameterless, so how are we having a parameter class? And the fact is it's not a class, it's a structure. <laughs> it's a struct. Well, this is the program that uses random and uh, thickness. And I basically define the random class globally at the top. And then in the window loaded event, I instantiate the random. And I could do the same thing with the thickness, but I thought it's a little more descriptive to put everything together. And in what's not commented out, we instantiate a thickness with the first uh, type of constructor with no parameters. And then say dot left equals 5, dot top equals 10, dot right equals 15, and dot bottom equals 20. And then we assign our thickness uh, structure to the button margin property. And if we compile and run this and press the random button, uh, you can see we get very spaced out buttons because of the big margin size we're using. And we can accomplish the same thing if I highlight this and then uh, use uh, control E C to comment it out and then control E U to uncomment out the uh, this definition that uses a constructor. This should do exactly the same thing because it has the same values for the four parameters. So if we uh, save this and compile and run it and press the random button, you see we get exactly the same looking result. And finally, the uh, third constructor, if I use Control E C and comment that out, and Control E U to uncomment this one out. This one just has a border, or margin rather, that's five pixels all around. So the buttons should be a lot closer together in this one. So if we save this and run it and press the random button, you see we get just a five pixel separation between the buttons. Well, and you notice the buttons are all random sizes for, with the random because we're using the random for both the height and the width. And uh, in order to do that, we use the random.next. 
and for the width we had to have a minimum value of 70 and a maximum value of 200 and for the height we have a min minimum value of 20 and a maximum value of 70 which is exactly how I generated the previous videos that had a huge number of statements but I use a, I ran the random number generator separately from the program and just had what's called an idiot loop where I put all the values in as though it were in a loop but in fact I'm just typing them all in separately well I hope you uh, enjoyed this video and learned a lot and I'd appreciate it if you'd subscribe